TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 120. You get the NASDAQ off 58. S&P's down 17. Let's get over and take a look at those S&P's first inside the future market. What we have up here is that you got to a low out here today of 27.69. If we do take a look at these S&P's, what the S&P's are trying to do right now, folks, which they haven't done yet, by the way, is get down to that low on Monday. Monday low, 27.67. We hit 69. Uh, bottom line, hit, you hit 69, it did have light volume on the hit. That being said, when you get a little counter trend bounce up here to 230, not enough volume there either. So I expect what we're going to see coming into this close, it's going to try to get down to the, le the level of that Monday low. Gold contract up $2.10, trading at 1286 an ounce. We have silver down a penny, $15.09 an ounce. Light Sweet Crude had some action out there, down 42 cents right now, $56.15 a barrel. And notes and bonds continue to want higher price. Pretty amazing, actually. You get the 10 year note up nine ticks right now, 122.05. 30 year bond up a half a point, 144.28. We get over and we take a look at the 30 year first. What you're going to see inside the 30 year is that this baby had rejected lower price, and the rejection on price took place. On Monday, bottom line, now you're in the higher range once again. Uh, this thing looks like, once again, it's going to go after these highs. 147.13, pretty amazing. King dollar, what do you have with King dollar? King dollar out here today failed on price. Looks like it's going to fail as well as on the volume. And what we did, we spiked high. We, we got a spike uh, at 8.30 this morning, got over the high of yesterday, which is 96.950. And right now you're at 96.795. And once again, you have volume that's contracting. Pretty amazing, actually. Uh, it's pretty hard to get a contraction uh, when you only did 14,500 yesterday. Well, we got it. We're at 13,800. Um, and the way that the dollar index trades, folks, you don't get a lot of trading in the last hour uh, because what you have now is that the U.S. markets are basically the only ones open. In the morning, you get a lot of trading because Europe is still open. Um, you know, by 12 o'clock, though, a lot of that trading calms down. Inside the S&Ps out here, we'll see whether they get an expansion of volume. We got a little fall through out here. Uh, right now, you've done 45 million shares, and that, you know, we'll see whether they can get to about 70 million. We have to get to 70 million. We did 59 yesterday in order to get that expansion of volume. Stay right there, folks. Next 60-minute trading coming right up.